A paranoid woman tries to kill her woman, her mother, and it, it goes terribly wrong. So, why are you trying to kill your mother? She got, she obviously got to be a lunatic. Like, you're trying to kill your mother. Like, what the fuck? 2023, possibly indicating she was seeking safety or had been removed from the house. 14 years, you should be used to it. Before gathering more details, the police officer approached the female who arrived at the scene without her partner, asking for her name and requesting her cooperation with the investigation, likely to ascertain her involvement or gather pertinent information regarding the incident. Okay, okay. Do you want to put on some shorts? Come. What is your name? Laura. Laura. Come talk to me, Laura. So, your mom can be taken care of over here. What's going on, Laura? Why do I smell so much bleach? Because I spilled the bleach on me. I see it. Yeah, I spilled the bleach, and my and my sister has told her to stop getting the police on the phone. Talk with me. So, I, I, I was trying to work out a relationship with my friend, and everybody said that he has, like, a... Laura. What were you doing with the police? I was in the bathroom. My mom was already on the phone. The cops, I said, stop, and I spilled the bleach, and... and... Okay, but you didn't tell me. What were you doing with... The female was presenting the information in a manner that portrayed her family as the instigators of the disturbance, implying that she was the victim. However, upon further investigation, it became evident that the female was actually at fault in this case, despite her attempts to shift blame to her family. Police? That's what no, but I have a case already going on. And yeah, I don't live here. I have my own apartment. Mm -hmm. And my sister told her to stop getting the cops on the phone. She's trying to calm down. My sister was trying to calm me down. I'm, I'm pissed off. You still haven't answered my question. Why were you with... with oh, I was in the bathroom. My, my, my sister was in the bathroom with me, and I had bleach in my hand already, and it, spelt, it got spelt. Mom, stop it. Leave me alone. You ruined my life. She's asking. She's You're done. What? Mom, leave me alone. You ruined my life. I'm so dumb with you. You're never going to love you ever again. Next week. Hey, Mom, I love you so much. Yo, wow. you, I'm 31. Back off. She's selling us about 31? No, I've been in the hospital. I have a lawyer. My, my lawyer told her to stop calling. Let's let Laura go and do her own thing. She's been doing this since 2011. So what did you do with the bleach bottle? She said she was in the bathroom with the bleach. What did she do with my it? My sister even said to like, leave her alone. Stop calling the cops. Okay. I, I, what made me mad is because my, everybody keeps saying... Yeah. I'll talk to her. Yeah. I'll talk to her. Let's go talk on my arm and she told me to get off the phone because because she was throwing things she was throwing what was she doing the girl in the paint what was she at that's her mom too her episode has been increasing she's planning to kill people okay okay and you said she's been baker acted before yes she has when was the last time she was baker acted okay Recent. If, now, when I say Baker acted, okay, mm -hmm. as far as I know right now, and I'm very upset, okay? okay? I understand. Okay. Is Baker they somebody? voluntary as opposed to her being oh. arrested. Oh, so she, they, okay. In lieu of her being arrested, they in, took her to the Right, crisis. right, exactly, well, because she's case, having crisis. In this, in this case, okay? In this case, she spared you with a... With bleach. bleach. Right. And the police were called. But I, I called them to, for a mental health team for right. Baker Right. Yeah, they did change. They did change yes. the signal yes. to that. Right. But right. During the investigation, the mother's assertion was highly surprising and difficult to accept. She claimed that her daughter was experiencing a mental health crisis and had been on medication for the past 10 years. This revelation introduced a complex dimension to the situation, raising questions about the family's dynamics and the daughter's behavior. Yeah, she's about to bug out. 72. 72. Okay. okay. You're going to have to put her arrested. She has jail. been threatening to kill the ex-boyfriend. Okay. She... So I'm going to ask you a question. Do you think the Baker Act is going to help her moving forward? I think what would help her, and this is from experience, because her entire life she has had problems, okay? okay? But not 
on a sustained basis. She has had times when she's absolutely fine. Mm -hmm. For example, in medication. Well, that's what I'm about okay. to tell you. Okay. In high school, she was on medication that was working because it took time to get her to the level right. that right. would work. Right. It takes time. And Did she realized the lady said she was 31. 31. If you talk about high school, she's 31 now. Almost 20 years ago. When she turned 18, both she and her sister said, we're 18, we're adults, and they voluntarily took themselves off the medication. Okay. Okay? And then ever since then, she has had periodic times when she has become dangerous. She was not on medication for 10 years. And during that time, I had to get a temporary restraining order on her. And they kept her only three days because she lied to them. But she lied to them and didn't tell them what was going on. That's why I'm asking you. Okay. So you think the Baker Act is helping? The, the, for this the long is what term. I'm trying to say. When she's released without proper treatment, it doesn't help, and without proper medication, it right. doesn't help. You can't force her to That's take it. The That's problem. how we get to a point and, like today. Okay. So, for example, she has lithium, as far as I understand. She doesn't take it. I don't even know if it's at the optimal dose. Okay? Part of the problem, and I happen to be a lawyer, and I happen to have been a def an insurance defense lawyer. I was a Miami-Dade assistant okay. county attorney. Okay? This is the thing. She doesn't always tell... Okay, I'm going to say, because like, she knows what she's talking about. And then she put her hand up on the wall. She finna definitely give us a speech. And I'll share it. Tell the truth to her therapist, and then insurance gets involved, which is why I mentioned mm -hmm. that I was an insurance defense lawyer. They only allow 15 minutes of medication management and never have allowed intensive therapy. And she hasn't gone to the right people. Okay. She okay. needs CBT therapy to reframe how so she you've, thinks. You've gone she with her takes, to the facilities and, and so I was not. Safe. I was allowed. not an allowed to talk to them many times because of her age. She's an adult. Yeah. Right. How old is she right. now? She's 31. Yeah. Okay. Does she live and here or does she have she, an apartment? Right now she's living here because she's scared of being in her apartment because other people have threatened to kill her because she was threatening them. Okay. okay, so you want us here today for the crisis call? For the crisis, yes. yes. Right. How are you just scared you threatening them? So you said you, they gonna kill, you gonna kill them, and they said, nah, you gonna kill me? Nah, I'm gonna kill you. I gotta move? I gotta move my house? Nah, it's, you wanna play that game? Yes. No, no, I don't want to because she needs proper help. Despite the challenging circumstances, the mother provided crucial details to the officers, which proved immensely valuable for the subsequent procedures. Even though her information may have been minimal, it offered vital insights that contributed significantly to the investigation's progress and resolution. Now with all this information, for what she was telling me, and they changed it to a 56 on the way here. I'm asking mom, if she's living here, and you know how the process is with, with the healthcare system, she's gonna go in and out. In well, the hospital. I'm under the impression that Miami Dade has a better mental health system. Than yeah, but that's going to be aftercare. Okay. So what we so, got going on today? That you hid in the bathroom, you were scared, and she came after you. But she had already been throwing things and breaking things, and I was trying to call you all, so I went into the bathroom to continue the call. Yep. Yep. When, when did she pull your hair? Uh, about ten minutes ago. Why well, she acting like this girl and did not beat you up? I know it's your daughter, but you're acting like she ain't pull beat, bleach on you and beat you up. She did do that. She is going to jail tonight. Yes, she is. Right as you were showing up here. I was in the kitchen. She threw my phone. She grabbed me, pulled my hair, okay? okay. Tried to throw me off balance. I just had a stroke in September. My balance isn't that great to begin with. Okay. You know. But in any event, and, and you were trying to help her in this whole time too. Yeah, I pulled her off. You pulled her off. Okay. But, but as I said, 
when she has proper help and they have the facts, then she can do much better. She also has ADD, which is an impulse control problem to begin with. Okay. I don't know the current. I don't know the current. And here's what I need to tell you. She started I'm, out. I'm writing down everything. I'm not you. ignoring you. I didn't think you were. <laughs> I, I really okay. didn't. She, uh, she's misleading. She's misleading the officer right now. Okay. What is your okay. name? And I'm still a registered licensed lawyer. Okay. Excuse me. The phone number you called 911 was from your phone. Yes. Okay. I have that on I the know file. You and we've had people out here before. Did someone give me a? Following this, the sister brought a pair of pants for the female, but she adamantly refused to wear them, seemingly driven by a desire to evade charges. Despite the officer's insistence, she persistently pleaded to be released, indicating her priority was self-preservation rather than complying with the authorities. This, this, for the long, listen, because she... I am telling her, her I didn't want you charged. Criminal law, okay. and I know by there what... Are people there? By what I went through before, okay? I was successful in not having charges put on her, Ms. okay? Carter, I understand. The state attorney is going to contact you. You're going to ask questions at the state attorney's office. You let them know what your daughter has been doing. Because you are threatening to kill Carmen, We're not her kids, and Brandon, and... She's threatening to do all that, and you're dumb. I'm not going to say dumb. But lady, you just said that you're not going to press charges? You know, it, 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 it heightens up the, her, her symptoms, okay? I recorded it. Yes, yeah, everything has been recorded too. And what she said to me, she incriminated herself. What did in she this say? case, like what she did with the beach. I know in her state of mind, it's not all there, but it's not all her. It, right, we, that's what I'm trying to say. The thing is, this is, it's this not is correct all. because they do have the mental health care system. You're gonna contact, they're gonna contact you. The state attorney office is gonna contact you, okay? You're gonna go through the mental health. She needs health a public defender. We cannot yes. afford a lawyer. Okay, and then when you tell them that, you, you have to let, her know, let them know all the diagnosis that she has. You are you a trained lawyer? I'm gonna have her this secured in a car so she can stop screaming in the neighborhood. I'm not doing anything! No! no. Yeah, not anything. Listen, I didn't do anything. Step by step, everything. Listen, she's gonna talk to the state life. attorney's office. No. We're gonna talk. No. She's gonna uh, talk to all you? the lawyers in the court. Are you okay trying to help her put it yeah. on? Yeah. No, I'm not doing anything. The lawyer. Put the charge first. Put the charge first. I don't want her she's going she, in there. I just want to press charges. No, she's gonna talk to the state attorney's office. Okay. However, we have no discretion. You know, like your mom. But I'm not doing anything. This is your mom and your mom's age. Laura. No, but I'm not, I didn't do anything. You're gonna put your feet in? You, Natalie, why did you open the door? I didn't do I didn't anything. You're making me go to jail. Okay, we're gonna put in a car. Maybe we can put it. Is she going to jail? Yes. Uh, I'll talk to you. Here, talk. Come on. No, I didn't. No. Now you're gonna have no shorts on. You have shorts. You're making me go to jail again. You're ruining my life. <laughs> officers arrested her and placed her in the police car despite her not wearing pants she continued to